All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. It's Jacob here today, and I am going to be coming to you with a tutorial slash conversation on arm training. Now, today, I have decided to go to Anytime Fitness, uh, grab some clips for you guys, and basically just do a voiceover over the top. So, first of all, I'll... I'll let you know exactly how the workout went. Today, I decided to do both biceps and triceps. You know, sometimes I'll go in there thinking I'm gonna do both, and then I'll spend an hour on either biceps or triceps and think, holy shit, I've done far too much, I have to leave. Today, it wasn't so, it wasn't the case. Um, usually, I any muscle group, doesn't matter whether it's arms, biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, doesn't matter, I wanna hit at least three exercises for four to five working sets each. I believe that around about that 15, 15 working set mark is you know, where my body sort of uh, has become accustomed to. Um, I think that's a good amount. I think any more, you're probably gonna push it. Possibly in bigger, bigger uh, muscle groups such as legs or back, I might do four or five exercises, but for something like triceps or biceps, um, you know, shoulders, side delts, rear delts, things like that. Any more than three exercises is just too much. So anyways, today's workout, we decided to go first of all into a big compound lift for biceps, and that is just a straight bar curl. Now, it's in the <laughs> it's in the squat rack, all right? I'm curling in the squat rack, yes. But the racks aren't just for squats, guys. There is a rack that is just for squats, and you'll know those ones because there is no fucking, there's no, place to put it for shoulder press, there's no place to put it for deadlifts, there's no place to put it for anything else other than squats. A rack, a power rack like this, you can use for anything. Anything, honestly, like I'd love to have one of these at home, I'd be using it for absolutely everything, including curls. So, we did curls in the squat rack. I went with uh, a pyramid fashion, that's what I normally do, so today we went with uh, a couple of warm up sets, you know, any exercise I do, I'll do at least one or two warm-up sets just to get my get the blood in the muscle, you know, get get used to the movement, nice and light, you know, 15 to 20 reps, and um, and then I'll get into my working set. So with the straight bar curl today, we did a working set of 50. Um, I didn't get as many reps as I'd like. In fact, I had to cheat a little bit, and that was only my first working set. So I realised from then and there that it was uh, it was actually too heavy. So I moved it down to 45, down to 40 and did three working sets at 40. So that was five working sets altogether. From there, we moved over to a dumbbell curl. Now, whether I do you know, normal dumbbell curls, uh, hammer curls, um, double dumbbell curls, you know, single arm dumbbell curls, five-a-side dumbbell curls, incline dumbbell curls, they're all good for the biceps, guys. They're all good. Today, I decided to do hammer curls. I do like to have at least one sort of hammer movement and one normal curl movement, just like you saw with the straight bar. I think that that's going to target both the inner and the outer bicep head, um, especially when, when you're doing the hammer curls, you can sort of see that outer head work if you really focus on it, and you can focus on it if you really want to. So um, usually I do three exercises, guys. Today I went hard as fuck on the straight bar curls, I went really hard on the hammer curls like you're seeing now and um, the way I did the sets was once again two warm-up sets we did a set with 20 kgs a set with 22 24 and then two working sets at 26 kgs and the hammer curl yeah I like it because I can put a little bit more weight on there you know there's no way I'd, there's no way I'd be curling 26 kg dumbbells conventionally uh, getting you know sets of 10 to 12 like I was here with the hammer curls there's just no way so so hammer curls not only do they target the other side of the bicep that you wouldn't normally target um, you can also pump out a little bit more weight that's what I feel anyway so with that said you know biceps biceps I only did 10 working sets today usually I do 15 but 10 was quite enough like I said at the start of this video if I had of if I had have done another exercise for biceps I would have done what I normally do and look up at the clock after I'm finished that one, think, holy shit, I've been here for an hour, I need to go. So what I did, I said, nah, fuck it, I've done enough of biceps, let's go to tries. So that's what we did. 
and triceps once again you know three exercises today we did do three exercises personally recently I've been liking to do one sort of pressing movement so where you press through whether that be a close grip bench whether that be a tricep dip it really doesn't matter one of those which I sort of see as a compound exercise following that I like to do one sort of push down movement and one overhead extension movement so today I didn't actually stick to that today we went with a V bar at first as you guys are seeing then I went over to the tricep dip and did five sets there and then I came back to the cable and did some rope push downs um, another five sets with a drop set to finish so biceps all I needed was 10 sets triceps I did 15 sets um, you're gonna see on the video you know how I like to do triceps I like to I, you know, for, for things like push downs, um, I don't believe that you really need to lock in your elbows really, really solidly at your sides. I think that some people's structures, you know, my arms are probably a bit longer than some of your guys. I like as I'm bringing the uh, as I'm bringing the V bar or the the rope back up. I actually like sort of bringing my elbows slightly up, keeping the tension on the tricep the whole way, but bringing my elbows up, you know, and then sort of having a little bit of momentum I suppose bringing it back down I think that if you keep your elbows locked in the side especially with really heavy weight on a push down I think that's gonna be you know detrimental to your elbow health uh, that's that's just how I feel anyway so I like to sort of move my elbows up and down a little bit when I'm doing tricep push downs um, when I'm doing overhead extensions I I never used to use a dumbbell but recently I actually have been I've switched up from using the rope to the dumbbell I really like how the dumbbell feels I like putting my elbows right out to the side rather than try to keep them in I think that that um, yeah it just suits my body suits my the length of my arms I don't know how you guys like to do yours but like I said at the start one compound lift a, a push down and an overhead extension and that is usually pretty good for me for triceps so today we did the v-bar we did tricep dips and then we did rope push downs i'm going to leave you guys now i hope you got something out of it when i'm training biceps once again you know a lot of people think that you should keep your elbows locked in the side i try to do it as much as possible but obviously when you're using heavy weight the elbows are going to move slightly right cheek curls are part of a good workout regime cheek curls you actually cheat all right, you want to overload the muscle. That's what you want to do, guys. If you have to use a bit of body language to get it up, that's what you got to do. As long as you lower it down really nice and slowly, I think you'll be fine. So that was biceps and triceps. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I'm sure I did. But uh, the next video will be a continuation of making gains. Um, I'm actually waiting for my my plane ride right now I'm about to head to Thailand so you're gonna hear all about that in the coming videos for now have a great day train hard eat well I had a fantastic arms workout and um, yeah fantastic so I'll see you guys later